Hi everyone, my name is Mohamed Tamimi, I'm the Director of the Language and Translation Center at Palestine Polytechnic University. This presentation is part of the English in Music class, and we will discuss today understanding run-ons. Run-ons um, usually uh, connected with, some, with another topic called uh, understanding uh, fragments. And both run-ons and fragments come under uh, the topic that deals with problems that people face when they write uh, in English. Uh, as part of this, uh, this, this uh, topic is also part of uh, uh, the writing uh, module, of uh, paragraph writing module. And in this, uh, so far, we discussed uh, the sentence, how to construct a sentence, the different types of sentences, simple, compound, complex, uh, as well as compound, complex sentences. And we also discussed how to write a paragraph. So this aligns with the other topics that were discussed. So let's uh, move on. Uh, I'm going to show you two sentences, and I would like you to decide uh, which one is the correct one. Take your time. Uh, probably you would say that the second one is the correct one, not the first one. Uh, and, it, and what you say makes sense. Uh, at least it makes sense in Arabic and other languages when uh, uh, some languages allow to divide sentences with commas. The first one is not correct because we basically have two sentences together in one sentence with a one period on one, you know, uh, one sentence. And the second one is also incorrect because you cannot divide two sentences with comma in English. We'll see more uh, and we'll see more details about this uh, in the coming slides. Now, before mo we move on, uh, I want to introduce two ideas to you. The first one is the function of a comma in English. Uh, so what does it signal? Basically, it signals a pause. The idea is not complete. So when you pause, it means that the idea is not complete. You did not finish the sentence. Look at the example. Because I like grammar, I like this class. Uh, this is a comma connecting the two parts together. A comma here is a pause. You did not finish because I like grammar and then you continue. I like this class. The other concept is period and semicolons and those two play a major role in giving a full idea and they, they represent a full stop. Okay, so when you say that, when you use them, you stop completely and then you continue. Here is an example. I love grammar. I love this class. I love grammar, semicolon, I love this class. Uh, so this is a, a period here or semicolon. They both do the same. Uh, there are more details about how you, to use semicolons and there are some guidelines for that coming in the coming uh, uh, slides. <clears throat> so what is a run -in sentence? Uh, a run-on is, is a sentence error caused by running one sentence into another without putting any punctuation in between. Or I would say correct punctuation. So look at this. This is like a run-on and we have an example here. We all like grammar. We all love this class. This is a run-on basically because you connected the first sentence with the second sentence without appropriate uh, a punctuation. In this case, no punctuation. Uh, there are two kinds of uh, run-ons, fused sentences and comma sentences, uh, comma splices. And from the two words, you can tell what, it, what they mean, but let's see more details about this one. So what is a fused sentence? Basically, it's created when two complete sentences are joined together without any punctuation. So you look at the example here, and we saw this earlier uh, at the beginning of the presentation. Drinking coffee was the only way to get rid of the headache. He drank four cups in one hour. It's a whole sentence put together, but in fact, we have two sentences. That's why they call them fused. They are like really into uh, inside each other. Another example, she had a sore throat. She was running a fever. Again, 
two sentences together without the right punctuation. The second kind that we will discuss is what we call a comma splice. And comma splice basically is created when two complete sentences are joined together by only a comma. Uh, let's see an example. The same example, but with a comma, drinking coffee was the only way to get rid of the headache. He drank four cups in one hour. Now, the comma here is doing uh, a pause, and actually pause, it means that the sentence is incomplete, and it is really compl a complete sentence, and we have actually two complete sentences. Um, another example, she started feeling bad on Monday. By Wednesday, she was running a fever, and uh, those are, we call it comma splice. Uh, so how can we correct uh, run? Uh, there are four ways to do it. First one is add a period. Basically, instead of a comma uh, uh, or instead of no punctuation, basically put a comma, as put a period, I'm sorry, or a semicolon or a comma and a coordinate conjunction and uh, add a dependent word, the supporting dependent. Let's so the first way to correct uh, a run-on is to add a period. Uh, let's look at an example here and the correction for it. So she started feeling bad on Monday, period. By Wednesday, she was, uh, uh, she was running a high fever. So we put here a period to divide the two sentences instead of the comma. If you look at the first one, uh, the run-on, it's dividing two sentences with a comma, and that is a run-on. You cannot do that. But what you need to do is to switch to a period as one way to solve the run-on. You put a period, and uh, by Wednesday, she was running a high fever. Let's see another example and the correction. Uh, his job paid well. However, he still could not make ends meet. We have the same thing. So we have a sen two sentences that are connected with a comma. You basically switch the comma to a period, and then you, of course, make sure yeah, that the, however the H is 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 actually capital. A second way to correct uh, a run-on is to add a semicolon. Um, we have an example here of a run-on and a correction. I picked up my laundry semicolon, then I went home. Uh, so instead of uh, the comma, basically you can put a, semico uh, a semicolon. And there are a few things to talk about uh, semicolon in a minute. Uh, you can see the semicolon here. Another example with the correction his job paid well however he still could not make ends meet and we can have we can see here that we have a semicolon to connect the two sentences uh, together uh, let's move on and give you some ideas about semicolon basically uh, when you use semicolon, semicolon you have to follow uh, some guidelines the first one uh, you use semicolon wh where you actually use a period so it plays the role of a period to divide sentences. Another idea that you keep in mind is that there must be a complete sentence on either side of the semicolon. I mean, for a period, you can put the period at the end of the sentence, but you cannot put a semicolon at the end of the sentence and, that, and you don't have another sentence following it. So on, the bo on both sides, you have to have a complete sentence. You cannot have a fragment or a subordinate conjunction uh, or subordinate uh, a, a dependent clause and on the other side a an independent and use a semicolon. They have to be two complete ideas. Uh, the two sentences must be closely related in order to be punctuated with a semicolon. Uh, they have to be related about talking about the same topic. Uh, the third way to solve the problem or correct the run-on is add a comma and a coordinated conjunction. Fanboys, and we discussed this when we talked about compound sentences. Uh, those are seven words that you have to keep in mind to use them. Uh, um, um, I think, uh, so it's for, and, nor, but, yet, and so. Uh, anyway, and so we have four, and oh, we're missing nor, no, well, there is nor, and then uh, but and uh, or yeah we're missing the word or I am sorry but you have to keep in mind that or is also a, a coordinating conjunction so let's look here look at the example the correction I picked up my laundry and then I went home basically a comma and a coordinating conjunction in this case we have uh, and and a comma 
And the second example, she had a sore throat and she was running a fever. Again, a comma and end. Of course, you can use other words as well. And the fourth way to solve the problem is add a, depend add a dependent word, the subordinate conjunction. In this case, we're talking about complex sentences. Look at the, uh, the run-on and the correction. Exercising is important because it can keep your weight down. So we use the word because, and you can see this here, that it is a coordinate, uh, subordinate conjunction. Of course, no punctuation because it came in the middle of the sentence. Another example, she had a sore throat while she was running a fever. While is also a, coordinate, a subordinate conjunction connecting the two sentences together. And it makes that we have here a complex uh, sentence. Now, let's see a test you uh, on, on some of the sentences. And your job now is to check and see which one is the correct one. Take a minute, look at it, and decide. And make sure you understand and focus before you give an answer. You can stop the video to think about it, and then uh, you can move on. Okay, so after you had some time to think about it, uh, probably the answer is the correct one, is the second one. Uh, the reason is that we have, uh, uh, we put a semicolon, we have two sentences together. I understand run-ons. I am still having trouble with comma splies. And we have however. So you use a semicolon and the word however to connect two sentences. Ye, the first one is incorrect because you cannot connect two sentences with a comma. You still have a run-on. You cannot say I understand run-ons and then a comma. However, I'm still having trouble with comma splices because you're connecting two sentences with a comma and we still have a run-on here. Let's see another example. Co decide which one is correct. Take a minute and then maybe you want to pause uh, the video and then uh, play it again. Okay, so you're back. Hopefully you know the difference now and you can decide which one is correct. Let's see which one is correct. Hmm, the first one is correct. Do you know why? Think about it. Well, we have the first sentence. The second sentence is uh, we put a semicolon. The first one, we put a comma. Remember what we said earlier. We said that we divide two sentences with a semicolon when you have an actually two complete sentences. If you look at the second one, what do you have? I have been given lots of new duties, semicolon, for example, filing and community outreach. If you want to use a semicolon, the second part of the sentence has to be a full sentence. And unfortunately, we have a fragment here. For example, filing and community outreach. Put, for example, on the side. So we have filing and community outreach, and that is not a sentence. We don't have a subject, right? And uh, for example, I, um, I do filing and uh, community outreach tax, that would work. So the answer is the first one, I've been given lots of new duties, for example, filing and community outreach. You can put a comma. Actually, one way to solve the fragment, as we said in the other movie uh, video, one way to f solve the fragment is to put a comma and connect them uh, together. So, but you cannot use uh, uh, semicolon uh, um, between a fragment and a sentence. They have to be both two complete sentences. So looking at the full picture uh, together, uh, to solve the problem, uh, you add a period. Uh, it was raining outside. He was determined to walk home, period, and a capital letter for the second sentence. So I solve the, the, the run-on is to divide the two sentences, or the big sentence, the run-on sentence, into two simple sentences. Or you add, add a semicolon, the same story. You can see the semicolon in, in, in black here. To sum up what we, d we did today, we talked about run-ons and we also talked about the definition of a run-on. What is a run-on sentence? The different types of run-on sentences. Uh, we talked about uh, comma splice and fu well, fused and comma splice. And then we also talked about how to correct run-ons by four ways, either putting, uh, looking at the two sentences that are fused or with a comma or divided with a comma, you add either, either a period instead of the comma or when you don't have one. So you either put a period or a semicolon, or a coordinated conjunction such as command, but, or and, or or, or nor, or yet. Uh, 
or the final way to do it is to add a, a dependent word such as although or, and put a comma or when or while and, and the other uh, uh, subord uh, subordinating conjunctions. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Thank you.